Welcome back guys. It's Monday, two days before the trip. And I've been really busy the past week trying to get the bike ready. So I didn't really record anything, but I'm back. Today I'm gonna be riding to uh, Gilroy, which is about 30 miles from San Jose. It's gonna be around 60 miles loop. I need to get some freeway miles in to, you know, make sure the bike's all good. Got my tools in here and extra gas can. This is the fuel friend that I bought on uh, online. And I also need to make some uh, highway pegs right here for the uh, long ride. Oh yeah, if you guys are wondering why I switched out to uh, these bars, it's because um, I want to strap my camera bag on the bars. With the apes, I can't really strap any down. They're too wide. And you know, with these bars, they're a lot more skinny, so I can lane split easier. <coughs> well, yeah, let's go ahead and start the bike. On, let's see, choke, key. I just made it to uh, Gilroy. The bike ran really smooth, no hiccups. Because the bike is so goddamn skinny, I was being bullied by the wind. But overall, it's a pretty smooth ride. I'm actually gonna switch back to the Apes because the T-bars are a little bit too short. So my body hunches forward and it's not too comfortable. So the Apes are higher and I can adjust the angle. So. After I get back, I'm gonna switch back to the apes. All right, we're gonna head to uh, Yee's house now. All right, just made it to Yee's uh, garage in Gilroy. Fucking made it. You ready for the trip, dude? No, I'll never be. Too bad the owners ain't coming, man. I know. I'm gonna take those gators off of there. Oh, shit. Cut them off. What happened to them? No, I just, I just pushed it in so I could see, like, kind of look without it. Oh. But I'm too lazy to take out the spork, so I'm just going to cut it. <laughs> unless you want them, then I'll pull them off for you. Nah, I got some pull. Uh oh. Let me show you guys a little garage tour. I mean, kind of. Let's start from the beginning, dude. Nah, you, you can give them a You tour do it. It's your garage, fool. You know, you know what's in there. Uh... Wait, let's show, let's show the beast first. The beast. Oh, the truck. This is his beast right here. It's fun mobile. Show the daily. Only son will come here at eight in the morning. Monday, <laughs> making hella noise in my neighborhood. Wake up, bitches. <clears throat> this is the daily on the new one. That's my new daily. Damn, EV dog. You gotta protect the environment somehow, right? After driving this, but it's a third of a tank every time I go see. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be changed. I need to still need to buy uh, material so I can build a warming table, but it's been working. Yeah, whatever works. But I wanted to. I'm waiting because then Tesla's gonna come set up solar. So oh, I sure. don't block any of the wall yeah. yet. Once they set up the power and um, put the battery pack on the wall, then I can just work around it. That wall is gonna be all brick. Brick? Like the uh, the shop? Like 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 my old shop. Oh, nice. Yeah, because then we might move the gym down here, but I'm not sure yet. The gym? Yeah, the gym that, that you can play in the garage. Stuff. Yeah, I might put oh, it in the wow. garage. Well, if you know, kids come or whatever. Ah, <laughs> is that a hint? I don't know. We'll see. 
Damn, uh, yeah. big old street light. This is actually from San Jose. Yeah, stop telling the story, dude. You thought uh, it was smaller, right? <laughs> what? You thought it was a lot smaller? <laughs> dude, I, I found it on Craigslist. I thought it was hella small. Well, not hella small, but I thought it was like a, a smaller street light. And I came there, it's freaking humongous. So I was like, fuck, well, I already drove all the way to San Jose. And then the guy gave me a freaking deal on it. So, because it was broken. Like, the bottom was freaking like chopped up. Well, it wasn't chopped up, it was torn off because somebody actually, it was a working street light in San Jose. They retired it because uh, somebody got in an accident and freaking broke the whole bottom off. Does it work now? It works. Oh, it's too lazy to plug it in. I gotta pull the wire out. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, I just cut it off and then I put a piece of plate in the bottom. Did you make this clock, dude? Yeah, old 848 parts. I had like 848 parts that I was saving for a build and then I never used it. Damn. So it's been sitting in my freaking box for the longest time and I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna put it together and make a clock. Why you want them? Damn, look at this guy. Even to... So organized and clean. Dude, yours is organized too, full of your shit. Hell no, much is small, like... dude. Your shit's small, but every it has random rhythm. Like everything belongs in its place. Dude, I need to get a sink in the future garage. A single garage. Dude, sink's a game changer. Hell yeah, you dude. Clean parts and everything in there. Yep. It's hella sweet, dude. Clean I'm, hands too. I'm hella glad that freaking the owner, the previous owner, had that already. Yeah. I might change it though. I, I kind of want to stain this one. Yeah, I'm gonna get stainless. Yeah, cause this one gets kind of fucked up when I put, throw like parts in there. It's like black, right? Yeah, you it, it leaves like shit on the bottom, and I can't scrub it up. A little mini bike for the, for a neighborhood, pretty much. The, oh shit! I didn't even see that, dude. The kickstand mod. Yeah. Um, That's some, pretty sick. Some guy on Instagram called Little Ricky makes those. I still gotta add my fucking highway pegs, man. Dude, but fucking. Wait, your shit's like bent back, huh? <laughs> it's not that no, far. No, these from are it. these are actually Fords. Yeah. They're they're <coughs> so I bought a kit of Fords. And I was gonna retrofit it, like, to make some pegs, and I was like, well, fuck, dude, I just took off the freaking controls and it would work. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not gonna stay on there, so. Mm -hmm. Same with mine. Eventually, I'm gonna take it off after the trip. But I need something to stretch my leg, dude, because that last trip, like, I think my leg was hurting. And yours is done. I Made mean, it to get rid of one piece. I know. I you pack everything already? Well, most of the recovery stuff. It's just lights. Shit. Headlamps, extra lights, cause, dude, after we had that fire on the five on the last trip with the King of the Hammers, I just bring hella shit now, dude. I'm Do you have a fire extinguisher? No, no. I think we need one, huh? I don't think we need one. <laughs> Why? Should we bring one? Do you have a small one? Yeah, I have a small one. Dude, bring it, dog. Really? Yeah. Since you have a bag, dude. But you, everybody should buy this, dude. I'm telling you, you guys should get this, dude. Hella worth it. How much was that? This? Yeah. For Twenty bucks. Where? Amazon! Oh shit, I need one like that. <clears throat> Dude, you fit hella stuff in here, bro. You, you saw the picture I posted yesterday? Yeah, that's the joke. Everything's in here. God damn. Look. Dude, it fits a lot, dude. I brought all my wrenches. I know, I brought hella too. Dude, but it fits everything. Every single socket. I don't even need the freaking metric stuff, but I'm bringing it for you guys anyway. Dude, it fits a lot, bro. But it packs out really small, which yeah, I like. Yeah, it's hella sick. Because I found this from like. The, the guys that do like off-roading and stuff, yeah. when they keep the tools in the truck, it hella bounces around when they when they go through the off-road. When they go through the dirt, so they're yeah, like, yeah, just put it small. in this, and then they just strap it to the back of the, or, or throw it under the seat. But yeah, you can bring everything, dude. Only thing we're missing is a welder. You can pretty much build a bike with this damn thing. Yeah. Yeah, 20 bucks. Looking wow. for a buck, uh, bucket boss. Is it bucket boss? 20 bucks, wow. I think it was like 20, 25 maybe? That's still cheap, dude. Yeah, it's cheap, dude. But it's like... It'll fit in a duffel bag perfectly, too. Because I tried, I tried like the other bags, but they were like kind of flimsy. Like the Chinese ones, I feel like it's going to tear, dude. Yeah. Like you put, you put like freaking 40 pounds in there and fucking you pick it up, it's going to freaking rip. This one's not I like rip. how it folds up like that, too. Yeah. This is what Young needs. <laughs> Strap this thing down to your bike, dog. Bring everything with you. Yeah. Are you bringing extra gas? 
Uh, just a small can, because I, I make it like 120, this one right here? yeah. I go like 120, oh, 130 huge. miles. Yeah. So by the time you guys pump twice, I only need to pump once. Yeah. Today's day. Got everything packed up and ready to go. Gonna meet the guys up at our usual spot and then head to Gilroy to uh, meet up with Yi. And then we should be on our way. Hopefully, bike run good. No breakdowns. Shout out to uh, Mazimoto for Lend me the ignition module. Ah, study. Yes, yeah. Okay, cool. Me and Young's going. Sorry, son. It's okay. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. What? What? What are we doing today? Fucking EDR, dog. EDR. Hope we make it. Ready? Let's fucking go. Look at this guy. I saw him yesterday, but he was like, you know what? I want to ride with Vu today. <laughs> okay. So he was like, I'm gonna go home. This is a failed attempt. Well, yesterday's failed attempt one. <laughs> Try it again. All right, good morning, y'all. So we're back at it again. I told you guys we're going to be going to EDR. So we're uh, waiting here for Duck. He What's literally EDR? was a, uh, huh? What's EDR? EDR is El Diablo run. I should have brought El Barbecue, but she's going to break down and kill me. So I brought the other guy. Um, Duck was right behind me. I don't know what happened to him. Hopefully uh, he gets here because it's been like five minutes. I should probably go look for his ass. But yeah, so we're uh, waiting here. We're about to go meet up the other guys out in um, LA. So we're LA bound. I'll see you guys there. El Diablo run. 2021. I, I was going to say 2020, but all right, peace. Oh, No shit. Yeah. Those, those are yeah. racing cars, fool. Yeah. Racing cars. Racing. How many miles do you think you can get? Well, from my house to here is about what, three miles? I thought we rode yesterday. <laughs> oh, you didn't pump yesterday? Uh, I, didn't, I pumped yesterday. Yeah. I drove, I rode around like crazy yesterday. Alright, we'll see. Alright, here it is guys, the finished build. He proved me wrong, he finished it. Sucker! Hey, congratulations bro. I don't know if I'm making it either, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not with that attitude dog, come on. You gotta pray to the bike god. You're right man, you're right. You're right. Guys, spare gas. Yep. Good What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? How's it going? What's up, homie? Love you, Damn. Damn. How you doing, Sounds Woo. good. Here we go. Oh man, that's what I need. 
electric start. I'm gonna catch you kicking it. You go gas first because I'm gonna. I made it to uh, Soledad. Everything's working good. Picked up Yi in uh, Gilroy. <coughs> Damn, built well. That one's built well. His is uh, a little bit cheaper, so it's built kind of well. <laughs> that works. That will work. <laughs> How's Young doing? Young thinks. He's praying to my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Came out. Huh? Which bowl came out? The exhaust. Oh shit. <laughs> exhaust that that. Holding up, dude. Oh, dude. I mean, other than running out of gas, it's coming along pretty good. Solid, right? Yeah. 
Sounds cool. good too. Yeah, I mean, cool. All right, well, I'll, um, I'll not bad. Now, okay? My first bike, first first trip anywhere. Might as well yeah. make it a long ass one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! New cooling overflow. That's smart, dude. So it doesn't burn up. I don't think it was overheated. I think it was just cracked. Yeah. Because it doesn't feel like it's hot. Improvise, guys. What happened? So my hat fell off on the freeway, but me and Vu walked back to the freeway, and I found it. It's a little run over. So far, no problems. This oil check, gas check. It was cool. Luckily, the U-Haul was like three miles down. Dude gave me his last small truck with a ramp. How much? Uh, it was 150 something, but that's included into Pismo. So anything after Pismo is 89 cents a mile. God damn. Yeah. So if anything, if they take the U-Haul into LA, max they're gonna pay is 250, right? On top of the one something. And then they can take my brother's car into Mexico. So what he's gonna do? It's gonna go home or it's gonna take LA. I don't know. Yeah. Tell them, uh...